On this day of July 24th, 2021, as self-proclaimed proclaimed progressives held non-disruptive Medicare for all rallies all across the United States, I bucked the trend and did not attend the Medicare for all rally. Instead, I decided to go to the worldwide rally for freedom, the anti-lockdown, anti-vax rally in Central Park to do outreach and gather intelligence. What I witnessed was very telling, and the contradictions within the alternative right are more than evident. Truth be told, I will say straight up, I am not anti-vaccine and take the position that people should get vaccinated if they feel so obliged. I am, however, militantly opposed to lockdown economics. As a professional New York City sightseeing guide, my vocation and industry were decimated last year. And as a result of not being able to qualify for unemployment insurance or uh, PUA insurance, I was backed into the doldrums of Walmart. For a year and a half, I worked in the trenches of retail, going from a job where I made easily $250 a day for minimum wage, pulling freight, offloading trucks, stocking shelves with time limits placed on me, running an entire online order pickup department by myself, answering phone calls, going outside to dispense orders, running inside to dispense orders, fulfilling time to express orders requiring 50 items, and being yelled at for hitting item not found when the item in question was not in stock. In some cases, I had to do all of these tasks in one day. I took a humiliating, degrading position at Walmart being yelled at by arrogant customers, promotion thirsty team leads and assistant managers as there was nothing else available where I was living at the time, other than fast food where conditions are even worse or some other non-unionized essential business. And what more? There wasn't social distancing. There wasn't mask mandates. Oh, well, there were, they were, but they weren't strictly followed. And the store was crowded. And not once did I think, oh my God, am I gonna catch COVID? No, my thought was when, when am I going to get my career that I spent 20,000 hours of my personal time studying for reconstituted? The lockdown did not help me. The lockdown hurt me and it hurt my former co-workers living in terror of being fired from Walmart who were breaking their backs to make the Waltons rich. And it hurt tens of millions of workers all across this country who lost their careers and or, and or were backed into the same awkward position that I was in. Did the media report any of this stuff? No, it was 24 seven fear and paranoia as people panic purchased hoarding toilet paper, Lysol and bottled water. All in the while, the upper 1% made some $3 trillion dollars in 2020 alone. Three trillion dollars. That's more money that they've made in one year that they've made in the past 18 years combined. I, di I did get vaccinated and the tourism business opened up just enough for me to assume another position within the industry. That's right, folks, I quit Walmart. But no sooner did the billionaires launch their phallic monuments of avarice into outer space, the liberal media and loser bread tube anarchist types are banging the panic drums again and asking for another lockdown over the Delta variant. No, we're not going back there and I am not going back into retail. So I attended the anti-lockdown rally and surprise, surprise, there were Trump supporters there along with Fulon Gong and anti-Castro Gasanos. People were handing out anti-socialist leaflets. People were denouncing China, the CIA and liberal elites. What I witnessed was a rally rife with contradictions. Getting to the meat of it and quite openly declaring myself to be socialist, I even struck up a conversation with a contingent of Proud Boys patrolling the rear of the rally who were curious as to why a socialist would attend such a rally. The conversation was telling as they explained to me that they viewed liberals as hypocrites advancing a, a rhetoric of social justice but allowing deep state corporations to come in and advance their globalist agenda in various communities 
and that they were opposed to Amazon and Wall Street receiving corporate welfare, and that they were opposed to the fact that hundreds of thousands of businesses were shut down as corporate elites made trillions of dollars. We didn't agree on much, but we did agree that the 1% are behind all of this. So my questions for the American left right now would be framed as such. What business does the extreme libertarian right have advancing the anti-corporate narrative when they are unrepentant anti-government capitalists? Why are these anti-lockdown rallies being dominated by anti-socialist organizations when socialism didn't benefit from the lockdown, but the upper levels of capitalism did? How can a group of people be anti-CIA and anti-Cuba at the same time when the CIA has been chomping at the bit to take over Cuba since the failed Bay of Pigs invasion? Why are you so-called leftists not going to these anti-lockdown rallies and saying, no, socialism is not the problem, neoliberalism and disaster capitalism is the problem. No, you know what, you, what you're going to do instead? You're gonna hold your non-subversive, permitted, peaceful, rated G, Medicare for all rallies, preaching to acquire a brain-dead Bernie bros and progressives begging for AOC and the squad to hear your petitions for universal health care. You better pass Medicare for all or, for, or, 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 or else. Or else what? Or, or else we're going to organize voters to elect more progressives to Congress who do nothing other than provide lip service that produces no results. You do that instead of actually doing the dirty work of picking apart the contradictions and toxic ideology inherits within the libertarian right and the Q crowd. You do that instead of stirring up the nonpartisan anti-establishment proletarian anger directed towards Wall Street and DC inherits within the anti-lockdown crowd with old fashioned dialectical materialism. Now, you do that instead of shutting infrastructure down, instead of organizing toiling low wage workers suffering within retail, instead of throttling the engines of the system that profited from COVID lockdown, you want Medicare for all, but you don't want it badly enough to the point where you're willing to risk arrest or your personal safety to attain such, unlike the early 20th century wobblies who died so that we can have a 40-hour work week, which is being taken away from us minute by minute. It is time to divorce yourselves from the anti-Trump liberals. They are right-wing reactionaries who, are, who over-exaggerate anti-racist tendencies because they don't want to be exposed for being anti-socialist and anti-working class. They aren't going to give you emergency basic income or Medicare for all, not, not at least without a fight, and by that I mean a real one, and they care not one single iota for defeating the 1% and dismantling neoliberalism. The anti-corporate, anti-establishment is the anti-lockdown crowd. Get over your pretentious bullshit of not wanting to associate yourselves with conspiracy theorists. Reclaim the anti-corporate narrative from the libertarian right. And if the political establishment refuses to hand you Medicare for all, then you pry their fucking hands open. This isn't a game, kids. This is a class war. Fight like you actually want to win. This is Comrade Pella, signing off.